Cotton House Brewing. A couple months ago, put the link above while we're sitting here talking about it. We are at Bombshell Brewing, Holly Springs, North Carolina, right outside of Apex. Raleigh, if you're more of a bigger city type of person. Triple women owned brewery. Is that three that's women. confirmed, right? Yeah. Three women own this place. Yes. Reminds me of Bold Missy in Charlotte, which was a woman-owned brewery that recently shut down. Except for, I guess, Ferris Wilbur. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> well then, Jerry, what do you think? <laughs> I thought their beer was really good. Yeah. They had, uh, what, like 20 almost beers on tap? Yeah, it was quite the variety. Yeah, a ton of variety. They had IPAs, they had browns, they had a strawberry cream ale that was really good. We had the juice was that juicy one? Chase the Juice, Goose Chase. Yeah. Wild, 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 wild juice, juice Chase. Chase. Great name, And it by was the way. fantastic. The brewery inside is really cool, really open. We're in like a industrial park type area, so lots of space. Everybody was very nice. What you think, Paul? Uh, I'm gonna second that sentiment about the variety. Uh, a lot of places that I've seen lately, uh, and maybe they're carrying back their selection because of coronavirus and less foot traffic, but uh, the fact that they had whatever you, your taste would be, they, yeah. they had darks, they had bourbon barrels, they had IPAs, hazies, traditionals, reds, gozes. You know, which, yeah. No, it was definitely, like I said, definitely yeah. variety, and for a Friday night, yeah, staff was great. And like I said, everything you really need. Parking lot is just kind of a regular old find your spot mm -hmm. next to an activity daycare, so when you're at the brewery, Probably no daycare going on, so you're good there with plenty of parking. They Bath did have a food truck here, but they yes. also had snacks inside. Yes, and then bathrooms were just two unisex bathrooms. Go as you will. No worries there. But, yeah, I mean, to me, the beer was the highlight of it. It was very good beer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you said, even Paul got a, uh, what was that, coconut porter? Coconut stout. Coconut yeah. stout, which is also tasty as well. And luckily, it's a nice, cool evening. Yeah. yeah, so it went. It paired well with it. Paul said you can drink stouts at ninety degrees. I'm more of a cold <laughs> weather guy, but you know, yeah, they were. They were also very COVID safe. They had the plexiglass yes. up. They had the table six feet apart, so that was reassuring. Yep, the floor marking. Not really any outdoor seating, but I think enough inside. I mean, it can't be too too packed, but yeah, I think we've covered it all. Scoring, Paul, guest wise, start you off out of five. Yep, you can use decimals. Uh, I'm. I'm really impressed with uh, the beer that I had, yep. uh, the experience, the cust customer service. I'm going to just go a solid 4-4. Four, four. Wow, okay. We're going to really, jump to the camera later. Really, really impressed. <laughs> Taylor, what do you think? Um, I really like the location yep. in that it's in an industrial park. It's chill. It's, yep. it's chill. You're here for the beer. There's really good beer. There's great selection. I'm going to give it a 4-5 because I think the beer is really that good. All right. I agree. Four, 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 five. I'm at a four, two. Mm. I was going to go four, one. Four, one. Yeah. Okay. And Luke said, he says four, three. <laughs> so we're just rounding all up there from four, one all the way to it's four, solid. five. It's solid. It's a solid place. Yeah. If you're, in the, if you're in the area, it's definitely worth your stop. Come check it out. If you see it in the grocery store, go check it out. You brew it. We review it. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.